Isn't May time such an enchanting time in the garden? Let's show you this tree. Something jolly strange has happened here. You see, I cut this tree down quite a lot because it was making a lot of shade on my greenhouse. Something quite strange has happened. Come a little close and I'll show you. As I told you, these, look how big these leaves have grown here. You see them? That's the normal size of a silver birch leaf. And I, I drastically cut this tree down. And to compensate for the lack of branches, the leaves grew proportionally bigger. This is perhaps ten times bigger than a normal leaf. Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely wonderful. Here in the greenhouse you can see I've erected a few little shelves on it. So I've got a little more space for the plants. A terrible problem with the snails this year. They're getting bigger and bigger. As you can see I've erected even more shelves here on the north facing wall of the greenhouse. You watch my friend um, Brendan Soda. I was quite, quite envious of the amount of place he's got for his plants and I decided to model my greenhouse a bit on his. The fig tree was a terrible, terrible disappointment this year. It was so damaged by the frost that I had to drastically cut it back, but we'll see what happens. It seems to be thrusting forth lots of new shoots and perhaps it will res resurrect itself and become once again a tree and not a little bush. Here's an interesting little puzzle. Does anybody know what it is? I think I'd tell you I could make some sort of a competition and offer somebody a wet haddock as a prize, but I think I'll tell you what it is. I was out on the bicycle um, two weeks ago, and I, I noticed they were planting a field of vines. And on the road, there was one of these pieces of vine, and it's covered in some sort of green wax. And... One piece had fallen on the road and was discarded, so I naturally put it in my bag and brought it home. And I planted it, and by Jove, there's a leaf coming out of it. I don't know why it's covered in wax. You, Perhaps someone can tell me that. I've got a few tomatoes there in the Italian garden. Everything's doing really well. And even the sad old rosemary seems to be putting on a spurt of life. Yes, I think they, they're enjoying it in the Italian garden. It's getting a little bit windy now, so I'll, I'll say goodbye to you all and happy gardening.